What I'm showing off today is a stepped input method for Trackmania for keyboard that still gives you the benefits of keyboard and the benefits of controller all rolled up into one. You get granular control of your inputs within 6% uh, and you can pretty effortlessly and quickly switch between any given steering value. So you maintain the immediacy of keyboard, the precision of wheel, um, but the compromise is that it sucks to learn and it's kind of confusing. Um, it's based around cording inputs. So effectively you push multiple keys together to produce the composite input that you want. Um, you can still do normal tapping things here. Here's an example on a precision map where I'm tapping to full steer to actually turn, but maintaining a looser turn with just the keys as a base, which I found to be pretty useful. This is even more useful on snow car where we all know the car just turns a lot more and your steering inputs have to be a lot weaker than they normally do for the stadium car. Here's an example of what that looks like while I'm actually driving uh, with the actual inputs that my hands are doing. Now this run is not very good. I'm not here claiming this is gonna make you better at the game because it's probably gonna make you worse for a long time um, just because of how tricky this is to learn. Mostly, I kind of think about this as being, an, I think it's a cool idea. I think it gives you and solves the action key problem while still being stateless. So you can't like screw yourself over by forgetting you have an action key on um, or have to remember which key it is to toggle it, to switch your input device between two modes. And the code for this is super simple. It's literally just a bitmap. Um, some I'm using Python for this, but I bet you could do it in a million ways. Um, I'm not going to distribute this because this is kind of technically against Nindio's terms of service, um, but realistically, ChatGPT could spit this out in 30 seconds. So 